Hello, Internet. And welcome to... Biomutant. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? Oh. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Okay, I didn't expect narration before I actually even started the game, but here we are. Let me say it again. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Biomutant. I have been so welcome geeked. Welcome to Biomutant. That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> I have been so geeked to find out this game. Not to, not to find out, Jeebus, to actually play this game. Apparently it's made by like 20, 25 people. I think this all should be good, right? Let's, let's just assume it's all good. Uh, apparently, I get to be a fuzzy little kung fu creature. I am playing this on a PS4. Encode Whoa. your DNA. Ooh. I am excited. This game doesn't want to, like, smoothly do things for me. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. This is kind of weird. I guess I'm just going to have to roll with it, because it's not like it's a visual thing. It's... It might just be a PS4 thing. I don't know. I pre-ordered this for PS4 because I wanted it in hard copy, and I don't have a PS5 yet. But it seems... Should be fine, I guess? I don't know. All right. Primal is a nimble, developed, and anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous. Dexterous. <laughs> At the cost of a lesser developed intellect. So I'm like super fast. Question mark. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I just want to say dumb dumb when I say this. Dumb dumb is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Huh. Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an... Oh, if you guys haven't paid attention in the past, like, I guess, five minutes, uh, I get to play as a little furry creature, and this is not me saying that I'm a furry. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but more like... I mean, they're not doing anything wrong except killing my eyes, but they can do them. Okay. Disregard everything I just said. <laughs> I need to pick a race. Rex. Both physical and mental challenges. So intellect. And crit damage. Tiny brain, even though big brain. Yeah. Tiny brain. Todd, are you trying to make a bet? Yeah, you're trying to make a bet under the desk. Okay. Mergle. Evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. Huh. That is too drastic of a change, my friend. I mean, the hilo looks kind of cool. And it's not like... Is Dum Dum like the go-to? 
No, it can't be. We're going to go with Rex because that define your character's starting attributes. Yeah, I get define that. Define your genetic structure. Oh, I have. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I love it. I love every bit of it. It's adorable. <laughs> Is this like the best I can do f physics? Okay. Kind of want to go. Ugh. It's so ugly though. Quit. Todd Goy. Oh, I look so cute. I mean, this looks fine, right? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> don't want to look absolutely ridiculously stupid, though. <laughs> I think I have too much fun with character customization. I think this is the go-to. Choose a genetic resilience. Uh, I am very resistant to the cold. Like, very resistant to the cold. Huh, weird. Should I just do, like, kind of in between? Oh, that's weird. Biohazard, radioactivity, heat, and cold. I'm like very resistant to cold though. But I feel like fire is going to play a huge part in this. And we're just going to go all in with it. Choose your first style. My first style? Okay, you guys should have just made this into a menu or something. can't really I don't know what I want I feel like this is good or this is good I'll be a fucking raccoon let's do it I do kind of want to be a Choose raccoon now. Color. Uh, not any of these. That'd be great. Can I just do like white-ish? Sure. Something like that. Pick a class. Oh. Saboteur. I get to pick classes now? Set yes, okay. Saboteur. So, the class Saboteur. system is kind of interesting in this game in that you're not bound to one specific class. It's just like Commander. the secondary effects, Sorry. right? Dead so, Deadeye, your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted 20% damage increase. Commando. Range weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage. Cy freak. This is uh, something I'm completely not interested in. 
Uh, to shoot a spark ball, press down the input you have bound to the ability. It will make you throw the ball in the direction you are facing, inflicting damage to the enemy you hit. Your key re energy regen is increased by 20%. I don't need that. Saboteur. Much. Sentinel. Saboteur. Cypher. Sentinel. Come. Dead. Sentinel. Why does everything Saboteur. give me minus armor? God. Sentinel. Saboteur. Uh, I actually want to do the saboteur because I would love to go running around with two main weapons. Melee dual wield skill. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Sentinel. Sentinel, your base armor is increased by 10. Saboteur. But this... Oh, also your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. And I feel like this is going to be my playstyle. chosen. Am I ready to start? I guess. That'll work. Here's somebody with a troubled past. Born oh. into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. Huh. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. I'm a furry raccoon. Is this... But okay. for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Really? Light blue for freedom and loyalty. Yeah, I'll Let go with that. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Yeah, I can I can see this. Seems more like you're being lightheaded if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. Eventually. But Maybe. what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature, and here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Ha! Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. I kind of agree with her. <laughs> nice. Right is always right. I hear a monster. Can I kill it? Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Hmm. Meat eaters meat. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Oh, so I'm like the Avatar. <laughs> the Avatar. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Come get these claps. Or come get clapped. I 
I can't parry. I'm not good at it, okay? I'm never good at it. Perfect dodge is a thing? That's amazing. Does this game actually want me to parry? Because I don't think I'll ever be able to pull it off. Come on. Let's do it. Hey, I did it! I'm gonna need you to not. Rabbit's Fury. Oh shit. You thought you could handle me? Better make a run for it. Oh no. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Uh big kaboom, please no. Yeah, this game really is a furry's wet dream, isn't it? No offense to furries. Everyone can do whatever they like. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Oh shit. I forgot that was a thing. I forgot the big kaboom was a thing. Interesting. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began and the tree of life started to die. Yeah. Evolution gone wrong. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. Reload your ranged weapon. Press R1. <clears throat> key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you'll be able to perform these actions. Regenerates both in and out of combat. So, I've heard good things and bad things. Are you- oh, you were cut in half, holy shit! Personal. Hey, nice. What? I'm confused as to what that is, but okay. Is there anything over here? I move so fast, holy shit. Oh, disregard me as I try to find secrets. Let it be open. So yeah, I've heard good things and bad things about this game, like sound design is terrible, combat's a little funky, all that sort of stuff. Electric module. To attach the special effect add-on, select it through the consumable menu. I press the thingy. But I already put it on, so. Medic supply. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Okay. You can quick select it. 
Oh, okay. Huh. What's in here? I can legitimately find things in toilet bat in toilets. This game is not just a furry wet dream, it is my wet dream. Oh, and I just automatically get on it. Okay. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. I know about parrying, bro. One down. I'm gonna need you to not. Thank you. Hey, nice. Huh. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and press triangle. Go. Cool. Could you be looted? Nope. I thought that was a giant ass spider for a second. Disregard me. Can I climb things? I am a raccoon. How about you not, sir? You don't like bullets. Get shrekt, boy. Yes, you still want those. more than that. I do want more than that. I would like to see the world. Please and thank you. Wait, is there more? No. Because of course there's not. I've also heard the world is rather empty. So I'm excited to see if that's true or not. Can we not? Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can damage them. Oh! Well, that didn't work. I need you guys to get out of here. <laughs> so now you can be uh, attacked, huh? Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wong Fu and Perks menus. Oh! Give me items. Okay. Show me, show me what this is. Oh, wrong thing. So character level up. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase from the list. Movement speed is already high as fuck. I would kind of want... Kind of want luck, right? 
That's what I'm thinking. Agility's fine for now. It's between strength and luck, and I think I want to go with luck. Because the loot chance is better. But I don't know what the loot is like in this game. So we'll just stick to uh, melee strength at the moment. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. There are two pillars of Wung Fu, the core mar martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you uh, unlock with upgrade points gained from leveling up. You can use any type of melee weapon, but you need to learn and unlock special attacks for a weapon type in order to be able to use it to activate the Super Wung Fu state. Well, I will be using dual wield, so... Oh! Give it. Boop, boop, boop. Got it. Square, square, triangle. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks. That sounds so cool. Basic melee. Hmm. Wait, what's the aura thing about? These choices and interactions can award you with Psi points that you can use to unlock powers at Psionic Totems. Certain powers can only be unlocked if your aura is dark and some of it's light. Huh. You'll have a separate score as a child and the choices you make in those dialogues will affect how characters remember you as a child. Am I a child? I didn't think I was a kid, but okay. Ooh. Oh, I can't open that. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. The once was. Is that what you call the past? I got a freaking crowbar, bro. That's cool. Can I use it? In this section, you can change equipment and weapons. Circle icon represents a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved in those outfit menus. Oh, it's a tool. Oh. Well, that makes more sense. Uh, I thought I could just use the crowbar as a weapon. Like, smacky smack style. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. The claw bar. Ooh. But what if there's more things? I'm assuming there's not more things. This is pretty. Uh, this is a pretty linear part of the game. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. <gasps> no. That didn't happen. Oh, I almost died. Damn. So that stuff is very deadly. Uh, what the hell is this? Can't like the skulks produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. In You're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower. Yeah. Including you. Oh, that, that's so good. Can we not? Steve. 
Gosh, that just destroys things. Damn. You absorbed a bio blob. Those these are points to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time. My ex Ooh, there's a mutation portion. Please please explain. Mutations. Biogenetics? Mothmouth? What? That's so cool. Mucus bubble. <gasps> That's the thing from the trailer. That's so cool. That's also pretty cool. All right, so I need to go on the hunt for freaking bio blobs, even though I don't need them right now. Wait, psionic powers. We got to figure out what those are, too. Oh, that's like, oh, okay. Huh. There's a lot to this RPG that people haven't talked about. Is that a chest? Oh shit. But I want it. Curious about what's up there? Yes. How do I get there? Oh. <gasps> Using the environment. Wait. What the fuck? Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, it's just a health pack. Ugh. That was not necessary. Probably will need it later, though. Because I am terrible at video games. Hello? Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Hmm. So the humans took off because the planet was doomed, is what I'm hearing. Locked, but good. You bitch. Locked. You can't do that to me. What is this? Found a puzzle. There are scattered. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. To switch node, is selected use. To rotate the node. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Oh. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. What? What am I... Oh, we're on this node. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Did I do this? <gasps> this is supposed to be white. Damn it. Oh. Good way to lose a giant ass chunk of health. I'm dumb. Okay. We're fine now. Movie time? There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, 
but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. That's crazy. Okay, well, I mean, at least it's based in some sort of science. I actually have to end it here, boys and girls. So thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one.